Ring the alarm, cause you know it's born. Bro, to be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. All of that talking, though, it ain't gonna ride, boy, this ain't a cab. No, you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Cause you gonna lose whoever you choose, fam, I'm gonna put up a bit. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or sticky. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that before you pick him. Whipping up a bumper liar, might go for a tug on the yiggles. Yeah. Yo, do me a favor, man. If you're trying to get the easiest and cheapest mutt coins on the market, do your boy a favor and head over to easymutt.com and use the code form for 5% off all your mutt coin needs, man. What up, though? It's your boy Foreman. We back with another Madden Online Ranked Match. And before we do anything, we ran a fire on the pole one time. As you can see, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Make sure them post notice is on so you can be here for all that good Madden 20 room content. Lego. Now look, as you boys can see, you know what I'm saying? Kick off return. I got some new fire for y'all. That right. Your boy got a new fire offense. You know what? I'm going to take that back. I have a unique offense. I'm not sure if it's fire yet because I only ran it once. This is the gameplay I ran it in. I was, um, comment down below if y'all like the offense. It's more of an NCAA college style offense, you know what I'm saying? Your boy was feeling real nostalgic, bro, because I was in the party. I was talking to my homeboys about NCAA 14, I think that was. 13, the last one they put out. And how lit it was, how fun it was running the, uh, you know, all the shovel options and et cetera. And so, I'm like, you know, I want to go look at one of my old offenses. I want to go look at one of my old offenses out of Strong Close, out of San Francisco's playbook. So, I go look, and I was, this formation was only in the live playbook, this play. So, I went over there. I checked it out. I'm going through the playbooks, and I find this gem in it, which y'all see coming up in the video. First, I got to stop fam, who had a kind of little trickeration type offense, too, a lot of jet sweeps. And whatnot in his offense. So I'm like, cool. I'm not really worried about the jet sweeps and everything. I just need a lurk. That's all your boy need. Let me get my lurk daddy on one more time. And I'm Gucci. As you see, he runs another jet sweep. Blow that up in the backfield. Force him to pass. I'm excited for y'all to see this offense, bro. Y'all comment down below. Which offense have I put out that's been y'all favorite? Because I put out a lot so far. My tight offset, single bag dubs, my gotcha, let me bitch. get that. My uh single bag dubs, my five wide out of Seattle, empty gun bunch, the uh RPO offense out of Philly. And uh let me know. But this is it right here. It's called Split Close Pro. And it's a shovel option play. Which a lot of y'all know we hike it. We can either pitch it outside, pitch it inside, or we can keep it. With Lamar as I go try to flick it inside. And this dude's offense, his defense low key, made it really hard for me to run this because, but as you see, it has dots out of it too. Because he sent seven every rip. Like this was like like it was Madden 20. Every rip he sent seven and he would spread them out. You know what I'm saying? Right there, I try to pitch it, but uh, because he's sending seven, like they just beaming down on everything. So um, I have to whip out a couple more dots than I want to. Like it didn't matter how, like he was just sending them. So right there, I roll out and I'm going to take off with Lamar. Be stupid, you know. I, I, I likes to be stupid every here and again. But with him sending seven, and whenever he would bring them safeties down, that's when I knew he was sending the seven. Boom. He, like. Lamar with a Lamar throw. That's one thing about him this year. He will sell a throw. So I see him bringing them safeties now. I know he's sitting in seven. I go ahead and block both my running backs because that's one thing about split close. Regardless of which you're in, you cannot blitz the crib. So I picked it up real nice. Boom. But look what they gave me. They gave me an outer range. Lamar can't throw 40 yards? Outer range means the quarterback don't have the arm. 
I literally had to come back and get that touchdown, bro. Ain't that crazy? Like, this game is so terrible. Like, them niggas said, hey, I get he wide open, but the nigga can't throw that. So, no. But, yeah, back on offense, you know what I'm saying? Trying to lock up this A's close. I'm in my 3-4 bear defense right now. A lot of people want me to leave 3-4 bear. But, no. Like, what? Like, so? I don't I ain't leaving it. Like, once I get comfortable with a defense, I do have other defenses that are better run D. But I feel like this formation allows me to play the run, but it also allows me to bag up split close and stuff like that when people try to bounce in out them intermediate formations that could be run, could be passed. And once I personally get comfortable in the defense, I'm not getting out of it. Like, that's going to be my D. And I'm comfortable in 3-4 bear. Like, you guys, comment down below. Let me know what defenses you run and what you're comfortable in. It don't have to be the metas. Just what you're comfortable in, what do you like running? Because I feel like you can run anything and be successful. The thing is about being comfortable. That's low-key why it's a lot of dudes who run the nickel 335 wide or the nickel uh, big nickel over G, but they not getting the results they want because they're not exactly comfortable running that. But because it's the meta, they're going to do it anyway, and they too scared to run something that they think can work because they don't want to put the work in on it. You know what I'm saying? I put the work in on uh, three, uh, three, four bear. I've been in it since the game dropped. So I didn't know that it was a good D when I first picked it. I just felt comfortable in it. You know what I'm saying? So boom, bag that. I go take that. I didn't know he was going to follow him because I forgot that I manned that guy up. Had I known, then I'd have kept going left with it. But, you know what I'm saying, that's a mistake by me. And one is one reason I love having a lot of looks, like, at the line of scrimmage. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it just being three people. Like, I like a lot of people at the line of scrimmage. This look gives it as if I have six on the line. So, even if I send pressure, you don't know how many coming. You don't know who's dropping back, etc., um, and so for me, I just like the, I, I don't know why it's just a comfortable thing. I think for me, it's a ooh, good dot right there. It's the same reason why I like tight, tight offset type formations. It's just comfortable for me to make reads. If you notice in my, in my RPO offense, as I, gotcha, oh, bitch. let me get that. If you even notice in my RPO offense, I motion in that outside wide guy and it still gives me that tight. That tight uh look. So boo, look at that. Ooh, let's go. Slide, 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 a slide, 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 slide. Ooh, keep freaking. <laughs> I almost got ready to on y'all. Man, I thought they were my only fans for a minute. But yeah, as you see, we hit him with the shovel option right there, and we take that thing to the crazy. So I'm thinking like, okay, cool. We opened him up, pause, opened him up with the shovel option because that was the one time he didn't blitz me. He had been blitzing me all game, seven every time. The one time he decided not to send seven because it was later in the uh, second half, so I guess he didn't want to get burned deep. He sends just three or four, and we burn him with the shovel. I'm going to get back in the lab with this formation to really see how good this shovel option is. We know split close is good, period. But out this formation, they have probably one. They got two, maybe one. That, like, I know the I only ran one pass play because it had the crosser, it had a deep post, had an in route. You know what I'm saying? Then you can adjust from there. It had everything I would want out the formation. It had a screen play. Um, it already has the power. They have back power out of split close. You'll see me running that a little bit later. Screen play, the shovel option, and it has a, a really nice pass play. And you can adjust and do what you got to do from there. So for me, the formation has everything it needs to be successful. The biggest thing for me is I got to find out how good that shovel is. If that shovel is as good as I think it is, we up, we got something. And what you'll find out, this turns out to be a really good game play. So uh, don't let this 14 nothing score uh, fool you. This ends up being a really, really good game. Because like I said, when, um, when I'm popping in all these new stuff, all these uniquely weird offenses, it's imperative that my defense plays really good. 
because I need all those extra stops to keep me in games. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's that's essentially what this gameplay is. Even though offensively I, I did pretty well. And for you guys who've been around this channel for a while, y'all know that ain't always the case. And the one thing about this dude, he had a super duper custom. He had every formation in the game that's good was in this dude's custom. And y'all know that just can be super annoying. But fam had a super duper custom. Like uh, New Orleans, New England, Seattle. Like he had everything in his book, bro. Everything. I'm sick of the devoting people calling me, bruh. Like, it's it's it, it's late. It's late while I'm doing this video. Because I want to go hang out with my brother uh, and sister. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I, I only have, biologically, I only have one sister left on my father's side. And so I, uh, we get together, you know what I'm saying, just to make sure we all stay around. And see each other and keep in touch. So I went out with my brother and my two sisters to go get a little E E. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was a little bit late on the video tip, and that my bad, my bad. Look, bro, I'll be I, like, I, I I'm so tempted to answer this phone call in the middle of this video, and that would be hella rude. If he call, if, it, if this number called me one more time, I'm answering though. I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. He dot me right there. That was actually a good dot. That was a real good dot. So he scores. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I get ball at the end of the half. Hey, look. Let me ask y'all something, bro. Comment down below how many subs you think I should be at right now. Cause even though it's dope, it's still odd for me when people say like you should have a hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? It, which, but it's a compliment, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean weird and like, why are you saying that type way? For me, I just be like, yo, that's dope, but it's not really something I can control. You know what I'm saying? I got as many subs as I'm going to get. You know what I'm saying? Like, the sub thing is going to happen when it's happening. There's nothing I can control about it. As I uh, try to hit me with the shovel option, he runs it like he's on the surface. Oh, I know who this is, y'all. This is my door dasher. I door dash the battery. Hold on, y'all. Hello? Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah, Energizer is fine. All right, thank you. Bro, I'm a dog. That's ghetto, y'all. That I just added the phone in the middle of a YouTube video, bro. That ain't. That's not rude. That ain't rude. At this point, y'all know who I am. Y'all know my heart. But I danced on the touchdown, nigga. I answered the phone on the touchdown too, bro. Good nigga tendencies, bro. Like that. It just kept bothering me, bro. Then I forgot I had a DoorDash on the way, bro. Don't judge me for DoorDash and batteries, man. My mouth's not working, man. It take batteries, my nigga. I need them. And I don't want to go get them myself. That's what they made door. So y'all, that's the problem. That's why y'all acting like this. Y'all didn't know you was able to door dash up at CVS. If I need a little medicine, look, let me show y'all. I be getting headaches. I'm always sitting at their green screen. You know what I'm saying? I keep the Excedrin on deck. For the headaches, I got these from CVS. My nigga, I hit them up on DoorDash. They brought, they have brought me some Excedrin. Y'all know, uh, I keep the Arizonas on deck. You know what I'm saying? They have bought me about three forties and some chips. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's cool. Y'all can judge me all you want to. I don't care. But y'all gonna be, y'all gonna get, y'all gonna DoorDash some chips to y'all. It's a fact. Y'all gonna door dash and chips. And, but I door dash batteries, my nigga, in medicine sometimes. It is what it is. So let's get back to the video, please. Right there, I had my zone drop set at, I want to say five. And usually purples play towards the seams a little bit, and then they'll veer out. 
But, you know, for whatever reason, they didn't play in the scenes as much as I would want them to play. They dropped towards the sidelines later, like, as plays develop. But initially, they come inside, they play towards scenes, then they veer out. But I think because he was on that slant route, you know what I'm saying, it, he was able to create a little bit more space. So, yeah, I'm up. I'm not having no problems. He's using on the right side of the field. So I'm able to throw that screen on the left all day. Only thing I'm doing is I'm waiting for him to bring Jamal down. When he brings, uh, the moment he brings Jamal down when I'm running the screen, I immediately hike the ball because I know there's no way he's going to be able to get all the way back to the left side of the field because Jamal does not have good change of direction. Boom, right there, I'm looking up top at Hollywood. But... My my read in my mind was Andrew, so I made a mistake and hit A. So, fourth and six right here. Got to pick up the first down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and streak Hollywood. And then right here, look, look at this play. So, look. I, I send him up field, right? He goes to really, the nigga? defender Re instead of just going straight up field. So, he started going up field, but then as soon as I hit the button to release it, like he cut the ball over and I missed the pick. So you already know what it is when you miss a pick. If you miss a pick, it's a wrap. They're going to score a touchdown on you. That's just how Madden work. They on their way with my batteries, y'all. So I already know what the business is. And then at the same token, this dude, like, he has everything in his playbook. Look, the one, the one mistake I was making, and I forgot to do it, to take away the inside zone, I just should have put Campbell at the D tackle. If I put Campbell at the D-tackle, he will blow up the inside zone every single time, and then I will be able to just singly play that RPO. But I literally kept I kept forgetting to do it. As far as the out routes, I, um, I wasn't really feeling bothered by him. Like, if I wanted to stop him, I'd just put my clouds at five because he made it kind of obvious when he was going to throw him. Right there again, as you can see, my uh, purple, because Forte probably got... Minimum speed. I think that's Forte right there. He's not getting over there in time. I knew he was going to run, so I just ran ahead and ran commit. But even with the run commit, bro, he still picked up the first down. The run commit could be pretty broken this year. As you can see, I'm blessing all my linebackers. Ooh, and I thought right there Humphreys was going to pick that off. I, uh, I manned up the running back, and I blitzed every single linebacker. And then I already knew, based off his tendencies of playing, he was going to be looking flat. So I immediately jumped down to take away anything flat, medium. And I'm like, okay, cool. And for whatever reason, Humphreys just didn't uh, activate right there. But right now, the, the screenplay has been my biggest friend. And then you'll start see me start mixing in. Because he's blitzing seven, that was a great block. We started mixing in uh, uh, halfback power. Picking up really, really good yards. As you see, he's come back. Um, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, stupid turnover right there. And we starting to just run that ball on him, bro. He's sitting at seven every time. <coughs> what the fuck? Throw the screenplay again. We get horrible blocking. But luckily for us, he a history core like myself. But because he's sitting at seven every time, I just almost died just a little bit. We, we can't uh, go ahead and hit him with too many of the shovel options for that simple fact. Right there, 13 that time, doesn't block. But I can't be mad because he had a crazy block on Molly Mall. Now, right here, I could have ran the screenplay. I could have scored. I didn't want to, though, honestly. On third down, you see me. I run the screenplay. We get really bad blocking again. So we go ahead and we settle for the, uh, <clears throat> for the field goal. I probably could have scored earlier, like first, second down, if I ran the screenplay, but I wanted to take his timeouts. The one thing that I could not risk is me going ahead and playing it safe. Well, not playing it safe, but playing it aggressively, scoring, and then he still has a minute with one or two timeouts to march up the field. You know what I'm saying? But if I take away all his timeouts, even though a minute is more than enough time, it speeds up the clock in his mind. So now I got him, like, even though out routes would still be smart, now I got him out of one of taking his out routes. Even though he does hit me right there with a nice crosser, whatever, for whatever reason, Queen, don't play it. Okay, cool. But, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to set my zone drops, man. I'm going to set him back a little bit deeper. You, know what I'm saying? you see me starting to adjust 
and pick up on his tendencies. I'm dragging Queen out a little bit more. So when he does come on that crosser, Queen will pick him up a little bit later, which means I got to guard the middle for a little bit longer. So you see, see this time he does a, a better job, and I got my zone drops further. We end up bagging that up, forcing the throw away. Cool. 48 seconds, no time left. Literally, I just have to protect the sidelines and try to keep him from getting that ball in the middle of the field. I mean, on the sidelines. Keep the ball in the middle of the field, and I can give me a GG. Keep him out of field goal range. I have the advantage because I got the timeouts, so I will be able to get that ice kick on him, even though I think at this point, oh, my God, we, we had RB so many times to strip that ball out on the catch. But even at this moment, I think you automatically get an ice kick, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, as you see, boom, again, I'm deep half in the right, well, the left side of the field because I don't want him to get me on a one-play tug. So, boom, as he makes his adjustment, he brings his majority to the left side. So I make an adjustment towards the deep half in the right side of the field. And off the hike, boom, I know what I got to play. They call me for a legal contact. I'm crossing over to guard the second crosser. I get the pick, but it don't count. And then our guys got entangled, and they got glitched up, and they called me for illegal contact, which was trash. Luckily, it's only a five-yard penalty, so it doesn't give him great, great position. But, you know what I'm saying, that still would have been GG because his offense was completely bad. He had nothing open. Right there, play action. I know what to do. I'm following that same crosser. Uh, we send the spy at him, forcing him to throw that ball away again. He had the uh, running back on the, I mean, the tight end going to the left side if he would have hit underneath. But because he rolled out because the pressure got there, he couldn't get that pass off. He going to um, split close again. I know what his reads are. I have to take away DK in the seams, though, and I know that. Take away him in the seams because for whatever reason, I'm not baselining to bring my uh, guys inside which I should be doing. So you see, that's my first read to take that away. And I was about to bail off on that uh, dive play coming. Right here, last play of the game, he quick hikes me before I can put a deep half on the left side of the field. And look at this. He almost caught me, y'all. Oh, I would have been hot if that boy would have got that, bro. That was a really good quick hike. Great game by my opponent, man. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll get at y'all tomorrow, man. My mouse dead, y'all, so I just got to press this button on my, yeah, my PC 